Getting lawmakers on the record, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell announcing the Senate will vote on a Green New Deal in the next few weeks as Wyoming Senator John Barrasso warns the proposal is, quote, unworkable and unaffordable. He joins us now from Capitol Hill. Um, I was fascinated by your op-ed in USA Today. Let me just ask you, you broke down that you thought it would cost each family $65,000 per year. Where did that number come from? Well, we actually had a, a nonpartisan group take a look at this. Uh, they've come out with a report of the overall cost of $93 trillion. You divide it out by families. And there's a number of components that make up this $65,000. There's a retrofitting at homes that people would have to do. There's a conversion to uh, all sorts of energy that are re renewable sources of energy, when right now only 8% of our energy comes from solar or from wind. Uh, in terms of the taxes that would need to go up, based on the fact that part of the Green New Deal includes the Medicare for All pro proposal by Bernie Sanders, all of those things will add to the cost, which to me makes this a crazy new deal in terms of the cost yeah. to American families and the cost to our economy. So you're just dividing that $93 trillion by the number of families. Um, that makes sense. They say energy bills could spike by as much as $3,800 per family per year. But, you know, Democrats say that those are lazy mathematical assumptions, that you're not, it, that, that coming up with this number, you know, has nothing to do with, it was like Obamacare when we were bending the cost curve because we were going to find new innovation. Um, you know, they say with this that there's all kinds of savings in there that will be realized. What do you say to well, that? The, the savings are not there. American families know it's going to cost a ton to come up with the sort of things that have been proposed. High-speed rail all across the country, getting rid of oil, gas, and coal, turning over our economy uh, basically to Vladimir Putin if he wants it because he uses energy as a weapon. It's the jobs that will be lost on all of the industries that are attacked by the so-called Green uh, New Deal. It's a big green bomb that's going to hurt the economy, hurt families, raise taxes, and it's not going to accomplish the things that they want to do in terms of carbon and climate. Well, there are things that are we can reasons, do. One of the reasons they wouldn't achieve that, Republicans always point out, or anyone opposed to this, is that America generates just 13 percent of global carbon emissions. China and India produce 34 percent. The problem with that is that then, you know, those responding to that argument say, well, China's going to do what they're going to do. That doesn't excuse us from trying to clean up our act. What do you say about that? China's going to continue what they're going to do to grow their economy and to try to take advantage of us. Russia's going to do the same thing, to try to take advantage to us. There is no reason we should tie our hands behind our backs competitively and allow China and Russia and other countries to grow their economies as well as their military, as well as their power and their might against us. To me, that's a fool's errand. There are things we can do in terms of carbon capture, utilization, sequestration, make carbon a valuable product. And we're doing research in Wyoming and other places to that effect. And you can then send that research findings around the world. I've met with uh, B Bill Gates, who's doing a lot of work with New Age Nuclear. We've actually passed legislation to do that. You can de deploy those resources and technology around the world with nuclear power plants that are smaller, cheaper, yeah. safer. That works everywhere. Senator, those are the sort of things we should be doing, Melissa. Yeah, and some say this is even more nefarious than that. If you look inside this socialist plan, it talks about, you know, paying people even if they choose not to work, that this is like a Trojan horse kind of turning over the means of production and control of the economy to the government. We'll discuss that next time. I bet you have some thoughts on that. Senator Barrasso, thank you. Appreciate Th your thanks, time. Thanks, Melissa. Wish thanks we had for more time.